Nice. Hey everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video. You guys absolutely loved my last tutorial on Blockbench. Like, seriously loved it. It wasn't, it was more like MC Creator. I'm done with that site. I'm not using it. Not modding anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to animate Minecraft character faces, like I do in quite a lot of my videos and animations. I believe I got about two comments. I got quite a few comments about a tutorial on that. So, you know, I'm gotta catch up on my comments. <laughs> Let's get into it. All right, so before we start, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. That's it. Anyway, we're in Blockbench. It's wonderful. It's great. It's amazing. I've been using it for about three years now. It's it's good website. So for this tutorial, you can either use generic model, which really limits the keyframe transitions. So I usually would not recommend it, but it can be good sometimes. But yeah, usually for the face ones, I like to use the gecko lip animated model because there are way more options for keyframe transitions. Just an idea. So, if you didn't know, if you just got this site or whatever, you go up to File, Plugins, and then you just search up Gecko Lip, and then it's probably around here somewhere. You just press install, and there you go. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with the actual Gecko Lib. It's just if you're making the animations for fun, then I'd recommend that. Though things like things like Sketchfab for rendering the animations do really limit the keyframe transitions. They don't work. So if you want this to be a nice render, I'd recommend the general, generic, generic model type. So, hold on. Okay, just forget everything I said. Forget it. Close that. No one, nobody cares. Do the Minecraft skin loader. Just create it. Pick whatever one it is. I'll probably just do my skin, honestly, because it has a mouth and all the features, so. I wouldn't put pose on. It's just don't do it. So then confirm. Don't, don't mind the blank one. I just don't like to put it there. So you can delete that. For a slightly better view, you can do this thing. Or for orthographic option. And now go to your folders. Hold on. I just gotta find my skin. Well, that's a lot of- Oh. Shoot. I may have just crashed it. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, don't do that. When it says like over 20,000, don't press it. Link that the hard way. <sighs> you know, never mind. We're doing the, the mini mission linky. <sighs> oh, this is- Okay, so once you got that, mini mission linky is a slim skin. Delete that. <clears throat> Delete that. Okay. How many files? Oh my- Jeez. Dude. Okay, there it is. Finally, found my skin. Okay, you got your skin. That's great. All right, now we can finally do something. Yeah, you got your skin in here. Looking amazing. Crap. Yeah, this might be difficult with the bugs. Now that you have your skin in here, you can toggle the outside layer by pressing toggle skin layer, obviously. Now you have the, the hair and the, the depth and stuff. Now that you have this, you can go up to file and then do convert project and then you're gonna find the gecko lip model loader you can make a copy or not it doesn't matter i'm not gonna get a copy yeah now it's a gecko lip model so basically the default animation has each limb and different part of the character separated so i'd recommend making one group so this will be for the full player if you wanted to like you know say make them bend over or whatever that kind of thing i would put the head into the body and then put both the arms but keep the legs out go up here to change the pivot these these buttons down here changes the view to straight forward in one direction so like like that whatever you want put the pivot like right here because then he'll bend down like that because on default it goes like this <laughs> that's like where the body is normally pivoted yeah just move it right where the body attaches to the legs there. For animating, I might also recommend changing the arms a little bit, making the pivot like one up. Then you're going to want to put the body and the two legs inside of the group you made. So now, if you wanted to make them, say, jump or whatever, it would move the entire model. Or rotate. Or just straight up move. It'll be like one model. Now you're going to want to go back here, go to head, and this is where we make the face. This is, this is the good stuff. It's not made how most people do it, I'd say. I don't like cut up the eyes and put stuff inside. It's like the other way around. So you may want to lock the, the hat layer. It can really get in the way of this process. Let's do the eyes first. More important, I would say. So you can hold control D to duplicate the head. Or you could just add a cube and move it, but I find it a lot easier to do it that way. And now, 
can double tap the Z or just simply type in zero. And then you're gonna wanna make the X the scale of the I. So that'd be two. And then mine is one. Crap. <laughs> so you may see Z fighting, but uh, there is an easy solution for that. Go to this one, this position. Go to the end of it and type point zero one, and that will move it in front of the head just enough so it's not Z fighting, but so it doesn't look like it's floating. And now you're going to want to. I'd recommend just grouping this right away as. <laughs> it looks kind of weird right now, but that'll be fixed soon. Okay, so... So now, you can duplicate this group, duplicate the, the I group, and then change it to... That similar group. This will be the pupil there. And now make this however big the pupil is on the skin. And now, these two will actually be Z fighting like the whole time, so... You're gonna want to move it another... But that is two instead, so it's just in front of the of this part. And now put the pupil group into the eye group like that. And then Oh wait, first you may want to change so you see that the, the pivot point is down there at first, so you can press center pivot like this. And now that'll be more of like a squint or whatever, so if you want more of a realistic blink. And hold shift and move it down right there. Nice. And then for the pupil, I usually just do center like that, and then there you go. And now you can hold shift D again to duplicate the eye. Move it over here. And move the pupil to this side instead. This honestly would have been easier if I showed the texture first. So let's do the texture. So in the UV, UV texture up here, you're going to want to, like, you're going to want to select the eye, and move it up way into the top of the corner, up in the corner, and then for the pupil textures, I would move it up to the corner and one down, two down depending on the eye scale. See, so that's already up there. Move it down once. So, yeah, you have that. That's what the texture will be. So, these, the eyes you're seeing right here are a part of the model already. So, you can copy that. Use the color picker to pick the same color of your eyes. And then you can paint those pixels. And they'll automatically go to the pupil because it's in front of this texture. And then the outside as well. For this part, you might want to just go into the UV and do it, it's a little bit easier. So yeah, you have that, and now the eye is finished, but if this ever moves or blinks, you will see these eyes behind it, the ones here. So what you're going to want to do is, well, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, highlight a very dark part of the skin in this, skin color, and then, oops. Go into the UV and just cover up the eyes. And those will be the eyelids. And now you will see the eyes are still here because they're overlapping the main head. So yeah, we have the eyes done. So if you go into the group, you can move that around and there you go. <laughs> now there's a little bit more to it, especially with animating. Let's, let's do the mouth next. No for the mouth. We, okay, go to the head. Hold on. This would be easier if I color code it. Yeah, as you may see, the green here is what we're working with. This is the head. So just click on that group and, hold on, no, don't do that. You can duplicate one of the pupils if you want, like this. And then drag it down. Make sure you move it out of the eye group here. Just put it up here into the head and it will get out of there. And then move it once over. Whatever. Just 
place it where the mouth is. Move the UV in the corner. Maybe one more down. So like the top corner is kind of where all the face textures are. And since there is no texture behind it, we can make this one again. And as we did before, copy the color of the mouth and texture that. Make sure these aren't locked, by the way. If these are locked, then you can't do that. Make sure you have the lock alpha channel off as well for doing that, because even though you can't really see a change in your block. Now, same with the eyes, you're gonna wanna cover up the texture. So what you should have in your skin in the face is closed eyes and no mouth. That should be what you have. But you can also just remove the eyes as well. It's whatever you want. Also be sure to center the pivot point to whatever point you want it to be. For the mouth, I also just center it to the middle. It's just the easiest way to do it. Uh, yeah, you also want to change that to mouth as well. Um, this is right eye, not left eye too. <laughs> I don't think we have two left eyes. Now we got that. Um, I will change the mouth to a different color for easier tutorial. There you go. So just remember that the mouth is the red one, as you can see. It's pretty obvious. Now that you have your facial features complete in, in this, in your model, you're gonna want to go to animations and add an animation. I just, I put it on loop, like just normally. Here, we'll do a couple different ones. Before we start animating, if you want like a, a smiling mouth or whatever, you can go to the mouth and you can duplicate it and move the UV somewhere else. If you want like a, let's say a smiling mouth for now, you can change the scale to about there and then I'm just gonna, yeah, color that. And then yeah, you can put it into the mouth thing for that. And then we'll call that dot. This is more of a smirk, I'd say. Put that maybe around here. That seems good. So yeah, it does look a bit weird right now, but it'll it look better in the animation. Here we go. Maybe just so you don't see it, you could move it inside of the face. <laughs> here you go. So shock. Let's make a quick shocked face shall we you're going to want to go to the main eye and you can go into here make this a two so it's like this you can also hold shift move it down a bit so that's just a little bit better there you can press uniform scaling for this menu as well hold shift move it down there you go this looks really goofy right now Okay, now the pupil, add scale, and this should be about 0 0.5, there you go, same with the other one, so yeah, you can make it like this, and then for the mouth, if you either wanted an open or closed mouth, you can do something like this, but yeah, that, that, that doesn't look quite right, so for a shocked one, you can go on the X coordinate, make that 0 0.5, and now it'll be <laughs> it'll be like this. You can also make these 0 0.5 as well. <laughs> make them real shocked. I'll just keep it like that. And now for the eyes, if you want them a little bit smaller, you can do 0 0.5. I believe this will be 0 0.25. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got a really shocked eye. The same thing with the other one, 0 0.5. Actually, the, the last number doesn't work. This, I don't mind that one. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. If you want it to be a moving animation, you can do... This... Yeah, make another keyframe here, and just place one wherever you've placed another one, as at later on in the animation. And you can select all these. Hold on, this one. Yeah, you can pre you can hold Control and press A. Oh shoot, <laughs> never mind. That's only with a generic animation. This is different. 
So yeah, just select all the ones that are not the first one. And you can change them this for a better transition if you want. Now select all the first ones and do this little this little redo arrow. And that will do that. It'll set it back to default. And now <laughs> now you have a moving face that actually slowly transitions to shocked. Which is just I found it funny. And of course you can use any of these that you want like this. Make it like a nice transition between the keyframes. <laughs> so yeah, you have that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, so now for the smile. This is more of a smirk, but if you wanted a smile, you can just add another dot to the mouth. Anyway. Let's do... If you don't want to have to do that whole process at the end we did there. If you don't want to do the whole thing here with the... You know, you place the keyframes that are pre-moved, and then you place the default ones and have to reset them. You don't have to do that. You can place them right as you start the animation, and then place the one that's going to change in the timeline. Yeah, for the smile, the way I did it, you move the, the dot forward so it looks like this again. I believe this should be 0 0.5. <laughs> it's a small mouth right now. Um, make this... And then you can stretch it out to about whatever you want. And then make the dot so it's square again. And there you go, you have a little smirk. So yeah, now you got a little smirk. <laughs> and you can move this around. You know, move the eye to the side. Oh wait, this is... Ooh. You know, I'll just... Never mind awkward, it's... This one will be the smirk. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. You got the you got the funny smirk now. And now, if you have seen any of the official Minecraft animation trailers, you may see that the the faces kind of move really quickly, like no transition, just instantly. Yeah, you may see some of them kind of just snap between keyframes, and that is personally the way I like to do it, so in the get color version of the model you can just move them as close as possible and change these ones to be I believe it's this one. Because the step one doesn't work as much. It's just weird in Gecko. But this one does kind of more look more like a snap. Just straight to the keyframe right there. And that's just a little better. And now this appears a bit late, so we can just move that there. So it happens at the same time. There you go. Yeah, for this, same thing. This one right here. And then that little squiggly blue. <laughs> the little ease. Now this one you can see a bit of a, a movement, but that's all right. That is a bit different in the generic loader because there is just a straight up snap option. But it's different in Gecko Lip. <laughs> now, because it's a smirk, you may want to do like the the little squinting eyes. So for that you just you know, Um Yeah, put the two keyframes there. And then squish it down a bit. Now you can see because the dark texture was placed where the eyes used to be, you can see like it's kinda like an eyelid that goes over it. Alright, so now that you have that squished, you can select these copy. Go to the other eye. And do control V to paste it. And <laughs> there you go, now you have it in both. It just it looks really funny. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the smirk. So, now that you have a smirk and the shock face, I believe I would also make this the transition. So if you want to see all of your previous keyframes you placed, you can do this one to bring them in the back. Yeah, there, and then you drag them right next to it again. <laughs> See if the animation later on, um, those will be moved. Later. <laughs> okay, so now for the the proper smile, which is going to be with teeth. So if you want to add teeth, you can 
once again duplicate the mouth here. Yeah, we'll call this. Yeah, teeth. And then you duplicate, not the not the group. Don't duplicate the group. Just duplicate the square. Move it up into the side. And then you can do something like this if you want. Move the UV down. And then select this part as well. Move that down two from there. Or else you'll probably get some Z fighting. So I'll just hide the other mouth and then it'll only be the teeth. <laughs> don't mind it. This is part of the process. Don't don't mind what it looks like right now. So unfortunately, the past footage lost its audio, so now that you have your teeth like this, I'd recommend adding another pixel, holding shift and just moving it like more like that. Because that'll make a better shape for the final thing. And now, I have made this quick s smile, which you may see that the teeth are like that. That's because when you have an extra facial, f facial feature like teeth, you want to put that inside of the model so it does not z-fight with the other ones. So yeah, just put that inside the face and then it will be in here at first so just move it outside and now the mouth will be hidden while this is still showing so yeah if you wanted a two by two eyes but also one pupil it would be something like this it would be the position and the scale something like this okay so yeah that's kind of how i make my mini mission thumbnails <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video, and yeah, I hope to see some great projects be done with this. See you guys next time. Linky, out. Bye.